Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Fake Weeb here, and today I'm going to be analyzing The Promised Neverland Season 2 opening. I've never read the manga for The Promised Neverland, so this is going to be more of a prediction video, and if you are a manga reader, then you might possibly laugh at me as my predictions could be wrong, and I won't be analyzing the full opening part by part, just some things that I found pretty interesting that can maybe give us a hint on what we can see this season. I'm also recording this as only the first episode has come out, so yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. The scene starts off with these beautiful bright flowers that kind of give you a sense of freedom and happiness. The next scene then shows these red roses. To me, the red roses symbolize the devils in the show. Or maybe death, simply because these roses bloom after being planted in someone's body when they die. For example, Connie and Sister Crone back in season 1. Next shows both of these flowers in the form of hands. Now, the bright flowers to me represents the Gracefield children, while the red roses, like I said, represent the death and darkness of maybe the demons lurking upon the outside world. And these hands slowly intertwine twine and then separate. This can maybe show how the good and evil coexist in this world and that we need both concepts, good and bad, the same way we would need both of our hands. Shout out to Shonen Chuni, I got that interpretation from him, so I'll leave his link in the description if you want to check him out. But the next scene I want to show you will relate to the first episode of season 2. We all know it ended off in a cliffhanger by showing these two demons, and the question that begs is are these guys good or evil? Well in the opening itself, it actually shows a lot of the good and bad side of the promised neverland, the good being obviously the Gracefield children and the bad being the demons, although I think these two demons are an exception and they're actually with the good guys because you can see a scene in the opening of the Gracefield children and those two demons together. And well, I just noticed this as I'm recording, but they're also literally in the scene when they're kind of grasping for freedom. I think it's safe to say that these demons are not evil and they're actually helping the Gracefield children. It just kind of shows that maybe they're on the same team. The last part I want to end off with is Norman. Now, season one was one of the best seasons I've seen in all anime. I'm going to stand up to that statement. I know it's a hot take, but those 12 episodes were godly, and from the end of season 1, everyone was kind of wondering if Norman is dead or alive. Now, in the opening, it actually shows Norman. That's right. Who else has white hair like my boy? But what's interesting to me is that he's looking at a red rose, which we know a red rose represents death in the Promised Neverland. Not only that, slowing this scene, we can see a shadow that casts behind him. To me, it would make sense that this shadow is probably a demon lurking from behind. Does that mean he's dead or he's on the verge of death by looking looking at the red rose, and it really begs the question because the next two scenes show all the Gracefield children who died from being shipped out. We can see Connie and all the previous children, and in another scene it shows the same thing where all the children who were shipped out are disappearing while walking into a land full of red roses, and we know that represents death, and Emma is actually in the back, kind of still standing. Norman doesn't appear in any of these dead children scene, in fact his only scene is looking at a red rose, which I don't know, could mean he's maybe looking at death? Um, I, again, if you ever see Red Rose in the Promised Neverland, it, it's not a good thing, bro, run away, but the last time we saw Norman is him grasping at the bridge, and this scene kind of reminded me of that, and to me, I, I feel like this kind of tells us that Norman is not dead, and he's still alive in the Promised Neverland, although, the way how most anime openings work is that if you barely see a character in the opening, then he will barely appear towards that season, and I don't think we'll see Norman that much in season 2. Since we literally only have 10 episodes left, I feel like the rest of these episodes will revolve around the mysteries outside, and the demons and maybe you know mr minerva i have a feeling that you know we'll only see norman once this season and it'll probably be at the end as a hint or you know kind of like a teaser for season three i feel like we'll see him at least once this season as you know it showed an appearance of him in the opening but again it was just like a millisecond right so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below as i'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions of the promised neverland season two if you're also going to comment a spoiler comment then please leave a spoiler warning and then enter tab four times so people like myself who haven't read the manga will get an option to read more so we won't get spoiled if you also found this video interesting then i would kindly appreciate it if you could drop a like on it and consider checking out the channel for more anime content anyways i really do appreciate the support you guys have been giving me and yeah thank you guys so much for watching it's been the fake weeb and i'm out peace I'm